Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Redo Session. We have to find the Ender City. That's our goal right now. We're trying to find mission. I just briefed myself. Hey, <laughs> hey. Um, but I don't know how to do that. Have I been in those apartments? I don't know. All I know is that when I go to either end of this hallway, I get absolutely wrecked. Oh. Hello. This guy again. Okay. Nor. We saw him in the bar and he killed people. There's <laughs> uh -huh. a bounty on your little green head. I'm here to collect. Oh my gosh. Well, yeah. That's how bounties work. <laughs> That's the plan. Yeah. I mean, he couldn't have telegraphed what he wanted to do more. Jeez. Uh, are you, uh, I, I feel like you should pick up their bodies. <laughs> uh, what? Enemy, uh, here, have a grenade. Let's hope I live. Oh, snap. Did I get them both? I got them both. I'm so good. Is, uh, Karth? Oh, oh, he's right behind me. I was like, oh my gosh. Oh, hi. Oh, uh, um, oh, go. Oh, boy. There's a minor frag grenade. Oh, crap. Take a head, mid head. Okay, go get that one. Wait. Volker gang boss? I'm. What? I did not realize this is what I was doing. Oh, why? Okay. Wait, what? Are you fighting more people? Oh my gosh. Here, level up. If I level up, I think I get health. Oh boy, I don't even remember what I did. Um. Master's grenade makes us harder to hit. Okay, this was what I need right now. Later, don't worry. Whoever I'm like, whenever I'm on stream, whoever I've got on there is like telling me what's what what I need. So like, I think at one point we really work on getting my intelligence up for certain things, getting your charisma up for certain things. I think we needed like our repair really high and your charisma needs to be really high for persuasion stuff in some instances. But for now, I'm just gonna huck it into strength. And I'm going to, so I can't up my persuade yet. Um, uh, what do I wanna do? Um, demolitions, sure. Oh, I have several. I can do treat injury as well. I know event like repair was important and computer use was pretty helpful, but I do I get my persuade up pretty high. But in order to help me increase my healing currently and maybe detecting demolitions, this is what I'll do for now. <gasps> Ooh, uncanny dodge. Cool. Here. Are they like T-posing? They were T-posing for a second. You guys, you can't, you can't unsee that. I am really good though. I'm really good. If I can recover the mine, that would be nice. I could sell it. Or it'll blow up in my face. Ow! I don't have high enough for that yet. Cool. More frag grenades. I love grenades. I'm doing really well. Uh, a Volker shock stick, energy shield, and a combat suit. Good. Uh, I needed a combat suit for Karth. Sweet. And we can use imp 
plants. No. Constitution. Nice. And energy shields. Cool. I'm not good at using energy shields. I'll just tell you that right now. I always forget. This is, yeah, this is the way I want to go. Are there going to be more... <laughs> oh, whoops. Okay, I'm going after that one and I'm letting the other one flank me. But, I think my strength was good. We're just uh, owning. We're just owning. Computer spikes always useful. Don't think this is this. Sometimes there are things that look like you need to be able to interact with them, and also those sometimes have things in them. Oh, these were the people I exploded. Okay, here we go. Why are there so many down here? What the fr Why are there so many black volkers in the apartments? Like, oh, I was like, ah, okay. Okay, let's try to disable this. And not have it blow up in our faces. Woo, I did it. Okay, let's see if I can security On this. It. Damn. Impossible. What if I just hit it? Oh, the strong box is a particularly sturdy construction. The lock is a computerized touch panel that uses a password entry system. Because this box is an older off-planet module model, there is no interface for you to try and slice. You'll have to figure out the password. Okay. You may, you leave it alone. I thought I said you may leave it alone for now. I was like, thank you. Oh, a desk! Hey! This is an electronic, pers electronic personal message system that looks like it hasn't been used in some time. There's one on red message. Hey, Elam, how's life on Tyrus? I heard your brother left for Tatooine to become a miner. Did he at least leave hyperdrive behind to keep you company? Hope you're still practicing with that blaster I gave you. Remember I taught you because you might need it. Tyrus isn't like Alderaan. It can be dangerous there. Wow, you came from Alderaan to Terrace? Alderaan's like one of the most pe peaceful planets in the whole place. Stay away from those soup gangs and keep everything locked up in that old strong box. The one's gonna be busting into that thing. Hope to hear from you soon, Uncle Louie. No, the kid died. The kid died. He died. Or she, I don't know. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try hyperdrive. I don't know if hyperdrive was a person or a weapon. On it. Oh, wait, no. Damn. Uh. Oh. Is, yeah, it was the name of your pet, Hyperdrive. Tell your uncle. Where's your family, Alderan? Wow. Okay. I don't think I did this before. All kinds of new things. Blaster pistol, Republic mod armor. I want to wear it. What is it? One up. My defense bonus. Dexterity goes down. Oh, this is moddable armor. Okay, cool. I was like, does it look the same? Sort of. It had gave, Maybe I did get this last time. I swear I at least wore something like this. Maybe I didn't. Sorry, my good people. I'm going to attempt to security. Done. Oh, hello. Ho hello. Stop right there. Hello. Or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what are you doing here? I'm looking for someone. Um, uh, sure to rob a place. I was just exploring. I didn't know anyone was in here. Well, go explore somewhere else. There's nothing interesting for you here. Marry me. This is your only warning. If you bother me again, you won't walk out of here alive. But I wanted to talk to you. I gave you a chance <laughs> to get out. Now you'll see why I'm the most. Oh no! Oh no! I'm doomed. I'm doomed. I'm very, you go. I'm very doomed. Oh, is she just like um? Oh, now she's Down pulling out the sword. Oh. Oh, I should activate my shield, too. Oh, we got- oh, we did it. Oh. Well, dang it, I used my shield. <laughs> so much for being the most dangerous assassin. Skull. Cool. 
Uh, are those pants you're wearing? I think those are. I'm gonna go with the benefit of the doubt and say those are. She's got pants on, even though they're practically the exact same color as her. Well, no, she's a bit pinkish. Those pants are a bit. Pants are a bit tannish. Anyway, I'm really just looking for an entrance into the basement because no one's told me. So uh, that's all I'm doing. Oh my gosh. I'm just taking out the entire organization. Oh, man. Haha! <laughs> I think... Are these the people I blew up before? I think they are. From down the hall. Man, it has been so... I don't even... I don't remember any of this. Hey, an energy shield. Do you want one? Uh-huh. Okay! <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, that what? was too perfect. Okay, um, this is, let's see. I came in, no, no, that was her apartment. But I, so I came in through this door. Uh, well, how do I, is there not an entrance to the under, I need to get to the under city, which I feel like I'm, I, I might have to take a, like, a, I, I think I have to take an elevator down. But this, I, I wish it would tell me what the zone was over here. Um, uh, find mission two. Like, if it would give me the little blue dot that tells me what things are. I feel like that's the Volker base. Wow, Karth just teleported. I feel like that's the Volker base and that I should go this way. I thought there was like hints in the tavern, but I guess not. The, not, they don't call it a tavern. What do they call it? Oh my gosh, both of them, are they both like a Volker base? Like, what the heck? Let's see. I haven't gotten anybody's what? attention. Let's see if we can't like target just like one of them. Oh, he has a concussion grenade. Oh, if I had... I just needed a cycle, I think. Oh, crap. No, they are. Oh, wait, no, me. Come back. Okay, hang on. You take a health pack and then do that. And then you do Ready. No, no, no. Turn around. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, Karth Ready. is leveled up. Good. Here, level up, Karth. You get a uh, treat injury and a uh, feet, I guess. Uh, he uses blaster pistols. I don't think I ever really changed that. The vitality is good. Uh, I, I do like sniper shot. But I don't like how a lot of these abilities, they like take away defense or like are really difficult to hit with. Eh, sure, we'll give you a plus one vitality. Okay, hang it. I'm here. Feel me. Feel me. Okay. They're gonna stay back there. Oh, I just used a poison grenade. If I go over there, am I? I don't want to go over there. Hang it. No, no, no. I don't want to go. Okay, now I'm here. Okay. All right. Cool. Um. I'm just raiding the base, I guess. Sort of. Tweelet corpse. Were you not a gang member? I'll feel really bad if you weren't a gang member. Mm. 
by. Oh, not by. Oh, I don't have the, like, deflection oh. thingy yet, it looks like. Oh. The, like, defense that makes it so I deflect bullets. This is the Volker base! I knew it! Well, at least I have it on the map, I guess. Yeah, I can't really just get in there. Okay, well. I'm gonna take another health pack. I'm pretty sure I picked up whatever you had for me. Yeah. Container is empty. It's such a cruel way to say, the body has nothing in it, you monster. Oh wait, is this something? Standard doors. More lower city apartments? <gasps> elevator! I need an elevator. No, I don't want to go to the upper city. I want to go to the lower city. This is, this is terrible. I apologize. You would think I would be better at this. Okay, apparently I haven't been here. Are you unpleasant? Why aren't you, oh, sure, sure, oh, um, I guess since I've already used one, I will optimize the weaponry. Did I, is that what I, I, that's what I wanted to do, right? Go get him. Yeah, yeah, get him. Ah. Perfect. Uh, excellent. Thank you, little droid. Okay. Okay. Droid, help me out. Perfect, little droid. You're, 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 you're woman's best friend, little droid. Okay, I'm not gonna open these apartments. I feel like that's not a good idea. Oh, a sonic grenade. No, that's for robots! Wow, actually, okay, that did more than I thought it would. Why did you run straight up, Karth? You're a, you're a, bra you're not a brawler. You're the exact opposite of a brawler. I don't even know what we're doing. I mean, I know what we're trying to do, but I don't know how we're supposed to get there. I could look it up, but I really want to do it myself. Man. Oh, something, are you, something bothering you? Okay. Yes, what's on your mind? You. I want to talk with you. Oh, you want to argue some more, is that yeah. it? Yeah. Um, I'm always up for a good fight. <laughs> Can't say I've ever met a woman quite like you before. You're really something. Thanks. I just don't trust easily, and for good reasons, which are my own. Hmm, we have to work together, Karth, so it has plenty to do with me. That's a good point. Oh, damn it. I suppose I won't get any rest until I talk, will I? Nope. You want to know why I don't trust anyone? Fine. Here goes. Five years ago, the Jedi had just finished the war with the Mandalorians. Revan and Malak oh, were yeah. heroes. I was damn proud to have served in their fleet. It was completely unexpected when they turned on us, invading the Republic while we were still weak. Nobody knew what to think, least of all me. Our heroes had become brutal, conquering Sith, and we were all but helpless before them. I mean, think about it. If you can't even trust the best of the Jedi, who can you trust? I really, yeah. They, I, 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 I yeah, he, uh, he, he had worked with them directly, I think. Or at least, maybe not directly, but like under them and had admired them, and it was difficult for him. I'm surprised that like more people didn't just defect, like not to the Sith, just stop being with the Republic. Cause yeah, you can't trust the Jedi. Like, who do you trust? Turn to the dark side, obviously. Why is it so personal? Uh, of course, the Jedi turned to the dark side. There were others, oh, however, yeah. who weren't Jedi. Good men, trusted men, who joined them. The women were Malak and them. Revan and the Sith deserve to die for what they've done. But the ones who fled the Republic and joined them are even worse. The dark side has nothing to do with why they joined with the Sith. They deserve no mercy. That's harsh. 
I guess he, he blames, like, the dark side or whatever for what happened to Revan and Malak, but he, uh, like, for the regular people, the non-Jedis, it's like they've made a conscious decision, at least in his mind. You say that with such hatred. I know. I'm... And I should apologize to you. I've, I've become so accustomed to expecting the worst in others, and you've done nothing to deserve that. It's just... No, never mind. Let's just continue with what we were doing. I'd rather not talk about it. Again, he doesn't want to talk about it again, but we will at some point. That's just the way it works, Karth. Okay, well, I don't think I'm getting anything in there. So... What was this again? Upper city? I don't know what I'm looking for. So. Should I just... No, 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 I don't want to go that way. Sorry. If, if, if I don't end up figuring out what I need to do on this side, I'll have to look it up. Because I legitimately don't remember how to get to the... Like, I, why doesn't that guy tell me how to get to the Undercity? And I believe the sewers are in the Undercity. So, it's not like I can just find one or the other. Lower City Apartments is where I was. what I crouched for. Was I dodging? I think I was dodging. Ah! Oh, is the deflection only comes with, uh, lightsabers? Okay. These are black... Oops. I, don't, I may have thrown that away. These are black Volkers, but that looks like a Sith. Are these turrets gonna turn on me? I have papers, right? Okay, this is where I need to be, right? Y Yo! Official yes! <laughs> are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. I have them! Let me see. Uh, yes! Yeah, these look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you, though. The Undercity is crawling with mutants. Rack ghouls, they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. Okie dokie. So he didn't care that the Black Volkers were, like, hanging out or that, like, I killed them. He's like, I'm just supposed to guard the door. <laughs> well, I did not have to run around in circles. You there, upworlder. Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. You guys look like you're Yeah, this is played. our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. Your elevator. I this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. I mean, five credits. That's it. That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits. Um. Who are you? What are you doing down here? That's what makes it sad, right? Is that it's just five credits. Like, that's that's a lot to them. That's living down here. Who are you? What are you doing down here in the Undercity? We are the outcasts. Oh, we. Banished and reviled by those who dwell above. Here in the filth and darkness, we claw out a wretched existence. It's very poetic. Scavenging and begging just to survive long enough to see another wretched day. This is our village. We live here in the Undercity. You have to pay us five credits for using our elevator. Can you imagine never seeing sunlight? Uh, you poor wretches. Here's 20 credits to buy some food and clothing. I, I have, I have quite a bit. Like, I don't, like, I don't know. Like, they are, like, maybe I shouldn't be, like, should be like, oh, you shouldn't, like, facilitate this kind of behavior. But, like, they're starving, and they look like they're flayed alive. Like, their clothes are so disgusting, you know? Like, the hygiene down here is poor. They don't have any sunlight, which means they don't, like, they're humans, and they don't have any, like, you know, vitamin D exposure. Like, they're all depressed and miserable. Like, just get some clothes and some food. 
<laughs> credits, my brother! We have credits. Now we can buy food and medicine. Hush, or the others will hear us. They'll want our credits. We have to hide them. Go on, you two. Get out of here. I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. <laughs> it's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. Well, I'm sure not a lot of people come down here. My name is Brinkar. Who are you? My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've, I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? I feel like if you're born down here, you should get a chance to go up because unless it's one of those things where it's like, oh, you're the child of a criminal, so you're born a criminal, which is like a really dumb system, but. Uh, surface, I don't know. If I tell her it's a beautiful place, like, I don't want to lie to her, but I also, it's like, I don't want to, like, make her want something that she can't have, but, like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe she could do it, you know? Maybe she could get up there. So, the surface is a beautiful place. I've never been to the surface, but... Sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so, so, so wonderful. I'll take you with me. Gengar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. I mean, like, I don't know, it's, um, like, yeah, you can try to improve your own situation, but to keep a kid trapped down here, like, I don't know. I mean, if Mission gets, uh, apparently Mission can get, I think she can get in and out, like, why can't she take this girl with her? You know, I just thought of that, like, why, why not just go, like, let her go. Rukio, who's that? Rukio's the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the Promised Land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. Promised Land? What's that? It's... it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukia. Uh, the stories that people tell are often very telling about, like, their, like, what kind of person they are. And, I mean, stories aren't just about truth, they're about, like, hope, even in impossible odds, you know? Even if it's a lie, maybe it's something to hope for. Because if you lose all hope, like, there really isn't, there's no, there's nothing to live for, you know? So... You gotta have something. Where can I find Rukil? Please don't bark, dog. He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's hard on his 100 bones. years old. The children laugh at him, and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the promised land, but he's really just a kind so old man. So, Grendar's the one, <laughs> or Gendar. Promised land, what is that? We're gonna find Gendar. He'll be somewhere in the village. I couldn't say where for sure. He's always busy doing whatever he can to make the lives of the other villagers easier. Uh, do you know anything about the escape pods that crashed into the Undercity? I don't know anything about that, but maybe Gendar could help you. Okay. Have other upworlders come through here recently? There were quite a few people from the surface marching through the village, but none of them bothered to talk to me. Gendar might know more about them. Of course. Okay, so you're basically useless. Tell me about the village. Well... I was born here for starters. My parents were outcasts, banished to the Undercity for some crime or other. They never really like to talk about it. Everyone here is an outcast, or the descendants of one. It's tough down here, but we survive. I guess it's easier for me since I've never known anything different. Some of the people have given up all hope. They've become bitter and depressed, but most of us are good people despite what our ancestors may have done. Gendar could probably tell you more. Okay. <laughs> I'll be going now. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the Upworld. Well, you can come with me, and we'll go talk to Gendar together. But 
I guess, for now, I should probably go, now that I finally made progress, so that's exciting, but thank you all for bearing with me on that one, I didn't have to look it up, I'm the greatest. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much again for joining me, and I hope to see you in the next one.